Welcome everybody, this is Juan Laporte with Cyber Group with another Tidbits Heroku Basics tutorial. In this episode, we're going to learn how to build and deploy a container in Heroku utilizing a heroku.yml file. Now before we get started, it would be a good idea for you to visit devcenter.heroku.com forward slash articles forward slash build docker images heroku yml and review this documentation to get further tips and information in regards to what we are going to perform in this episode. Well, let's get started. The code on my screen is the code that I'm going to be deploying in Heroku, which is just a basic Node.js app. All it does is take a variable that I'm going to provide in the Heroku configuration and display that in the middle of the screen in your browser. Or if that variable is not present, it will display no var present. Also, I'm going to be utilizing the port variable that Heroku automatically configures for our application to be accessible. Also in my code, I'm going to be utilizing a Docker file. And if you are not familiar with the Docker file, I suggest you go to docs.docker.com forward slash engine forward slash reference forward slash builder and read this documentation to get more familiar with the Docker file. Now getting back to the code, in my Docker file, you can see I'm only going to run a few commands in this file for the Docker build engine. The first one is I'm going to pull the node image version 12 from the Docker registry. I'm also going to set the working directory to user source app within the image. I'm also going to copy all the contents into the working directory within the image. I'm also going to run npm install and then finally the command for the image is going to be npm run start. Another file that we are going to utilize is the heroku.yml file and with this basic configuration for the docker engine on every build for the web process use the docker file that's located in the root of the repository. On every run command for the web process, that command is going to be npm run start. On every release command, that image is going to be the web image that we just created with the docker file, and the command for that is npm run migrate up. Now let's move to Heroku and go ahead and create our app. So we're going to click create new app, give the app a name, And we are going to verify that it can be used and available. And then we're going to click Create App. Great. After the app has been created in Heroku, we are going to go to Resources. And we're going to add our Postgres database. Now that that is provisioned, we are also going to go to settings, reveal the configuration vars, and we're going to add that variable, my var, that we discussed earlier for it to be used. Great, now we're going to go to the deploy tab, connect our GitHub repository, Great, now we're ready to deploy from our master branch, but before we do that, one important step that we have to do is go to settings, and we can see that the stack being used is the Heroku 18 stack. We do not want to use the stack. Actually, what we want to do is use the container stack that Heroku has made available to us. So in order to do that, we need to go to the CLI and simply type Heroku stack set container and the app name. Now let's go back to our app in Heroku and we can see that the stack is now set at container. So now we're ready to deploy. So let's go to the deploy tab and let's go ahead and go to the bottom and click deploy branch. Now that this has started, I'm going to go ahead and click view build logs so I can see everything that's going on. Great. So we can see that the Docker file is being utilized and it is pulling the version 12, which is the first step in our file. And also we can see that there is a total of five steps, which it being on step one currently.
Now we can see that it has moved to step two in our file and also step three and step four. And now it's running step five. And it looks like that has now been completed. And it has tagged the image that it created with our Docker file. And it's going to push it to the Heroku registry. Great. We can now see that our build has finished. Now what we're going to do is click the activity feed and we should see a new release being deployed. Great, we can see our migration has ran and it has completed and now the release has completed. So let's go back to the activity feed and we can see that the status has been deployed. So now we're ready to open up the app. So we're gonna click open app at the top right of the screen and we should see our application with the variable that we created being used. Great. Well, this concludes this episode, and I want to thank you all for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, please comment them below, and please subscribe to our channel for future Heroku Basics tutorials.